be able to read the world to see God's future present um, requires a kind of imagination um, that just worrying about, you know, the color of the carpet or the next meeting. I mean, that stuff kills me because I just think, you know, one went to seminary to, um, you know, necessarily learn how to run a meeting or let's print the bulletins or, no, we came to seminary to learn about ministry, to serve God's people, to get connected to what God's doing in the world. And man, it's exciting. That's what, why people go to seminary. But something happens, I don't know, maybe in seminary, hopefully not, but out of seminary where we can get caught up in perhaps a business model, all right? So church becomes a business, you know, rather than, once again, for me, a deeply theological enterprise. Um, and then we, even the language we use to speak about the church so if I talk about a strategic plan, that's business language, but to begin to reframe that and call it a strategic prayer, all of a sudden there's a, diff there's a theological reality there at work and an acknowledgement of that, that we serve a living God working in the world, you know, all the time, whether we have eyes to see or not. You know, God is <laughs> going and working, which is the end of Mark. I mean, God is, at, is, at, is um, loosed in the world. And God is doing God's work with or without us.